1907 that the city of Denver started thinking about oh. the fact that they were going to need water for their growing city. It was in 1913 that they started buying water rights up here. In 1923, their plan was they were going to divert water from the Blue River. And four years later, that plan then was fleshed out to include a 23.3 mile tunnel and a low dam over the Blue River. Purposes, store water, divert water, and then they were thinking ahead. If they regulated stream flow, they could put a hydroelectric plant here on the dam. And that they did in 1987. It's a 1.8 megawatt generator. Now, here's the answer to your question. Why? Location, location, location. Now, one thing they had to do was clear out the timber and the brush. The timber had to be cleared to about 9,017 feet, plus 4 feet vertically or 20 feet horizontally brush had to be cleared out to 9,018 feet. So they did something that they could never do today. They mixed 2,4-D oh. <laughs> with diesel fuel, sprayed it from an airplane, and lit a match. There is nothing down there of old Dillon. Every now and then the water gets so low that people say, oh, the Historical Society is going to offer walking tours of no, 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 no. It's nothing down there. A couple years ago, somebody <laughs> floated like. a steeple out there while the water was low and said, oh, look, the church steeple is coming up. No, the church is up here. No. Some of the people moved their buildings out. Mm -hmm. The last few that were here, one was the Wildwood Cafe. And the Wildwood Cafe was taken to Silverthorne, and it's now the Elks and the Bingo Parlor on the main street in uh, Silverthorne. Another one that was at the very end was the Arapaho Cafe that we'll go past today, and that was uh, feeding the workers until the bitter end. Then they were down to one. The 1883 schoolhouse. Of course, it was brought up. It's on Labonte. It was their church until they built the new community church. Then it became the Historical Society's Schoolhouse Museum. You can see, as they're starting to fill, you can see the outlet works. You can see the, 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 the vegetation that had been cut there. They thought that this would take a good five years to fill. Well, they had heavy snow in the winters. Yeah. It took exactly 23 months to the day, August 3rd, 1965, to fill this reservoir. 